Self-image is self-made, but unconscious people allow other suggestions and opinions to shape their self-image. And that is what most of us fall prey to, including myself, because we all start unconsciously. We have very little awareness of our own inner world and our own mind as we come into this world. Thus, we get shaped by everyone around us. But the moment you become conscious of your own mind, your self-image is your responsibility. And that is what I want to reveal to you in this video. Let me ask you this. How do you treat yourself in your own mind, in your inner world? Do you treat yourself like a loser or do you treat yourself like a king? I know your mind immediately wants to respond with you treat yourself like a king and you may be right. However, observe carefully, analyze yourself in every situation and you will be shocked to realize that you do not treat yourself as you think you do. Being a student of reality and learning how it works. An important realization I have come to learn is that there is nothing and no one to change but self. You see, there is a mindset of separation that we are all indoctrinated into. But upon waking up from this separation illusion, we come across the concept of oneness, that everything and everybody is connected. Now, what does this all have to do with building a first-class self-image? It has everything to do with it. If you treat yourself like a second choice in your mind, then you will be treated as such in the world. Have you ever wondered why narcissists get away with everything and always get everything they want? Because as self-deluded as they are, they treat themselves highly in their minds or at least have the illusion of it, so it plays out the concept of a first-class self-image. Let me give you a few examples of an authentic first-class self-image. Let's say I just paid all of my monthly bills. The old me would fearfully look at the money I have left over and feel lack, I would feel broke, I would feel sad. Then I realized something through the wonderful teachings I have learned and that is why would I focus on gathering and saving these breadcrumbs. I have the power to choose how I react and feel. I choose to focus on lavishness as an abundant person who does not worry about pennies. Do you see the point? You have control over this 3D reality by choosing how you react to everything. Another example could be that if a girl is not texting you back, now the first class version of you will not even bother to think twice about her as there are more than enough beautiful and amazing women in the world but the one who lacks self-esteem will chase the girl. Now I'm not saying that you should not pursue what you want in life such as a girl or relationship, just don't be so attached to them that you lose sleep over it. That is not the first class attitude. It is about not bothering with lower level wants, things and actions that are beneath you always keeping a high standard for yourself the more i apply this mindset the more opportunity i seem to get in every situation of my life because i have stopped bothering myself with petty small things that are not worthy to get the attention of the first class man this subtle difference makes a world of difference since i am focusing on an abundance mindset my abundance is growing in every area of my life if you understand the concept of unity and the law of assumption then you know that the world is a mirror forever reflecting who you are being within. If you do not change within, the outer won't change. To change within, all you need to do is to become aware of the new you, the ideal you that is the first class version of you. How would the first class version of yourself act towards money? Would you be worried about breadcrumbs or thinking about earning large sums of money? This version of you will either be pissed off at the world and acting like a victim, or you will let it go and value your inner peace and give yourself what you want openly. In every situation, ask yourself if this situation is worth my time and energy. If it isn't, walk away. If a problem arises, ask yourself this question. What is the first class response to this problem? And act upon it. Personally, I refuse to worry about problems anymore, as worrying is not the first class treatment towards myself. I trust the universe and apply the higher spiritual laws to the best of my abilities. I let it go. I do what needs to be done in the time being, but I refuse to carry fear and worry with me. That is the first class self-image to me. I am beginning to value my time and my peace more than anything. I focus on abundance rather than the scarcity mindset, like saving every penny and not focusing on earning more. Keep feeding your divine self with all the lovely qualities that you want in your self-image like a beautiful body, good health, lavish income, harmonious love. Keep thinking and feeling on these ideals, and in no time, you will start to see these ideals being externalized more so each day. And the more proof you see, the more you will become confident and natural about it. And this is when it will become your new programming that runs on autopilot. 
So, abundance will flow naturally, as it is now your new self.